here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like subscribe button like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend chicago's a crazy place chicago's a crazy place heard they said heard they said that um you know larry hoover larry hoover you know he went behind the bars you know at the age of 23 Age of 23 years old, think about that right there. Young man, young man. But his influence had a grip on Chicago up to today's day. Larry Hoover has been incarcerated since 1973. At this rate, it's highly unlikely that he'll ever see the outside world again. Unfortunately, 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 sometimes when, you know, you're behind the bars, you want to have people there with you. So that's what's going on right there. Larry Hoover, I believe, just want to have people behind the bars with him. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. Entertainment purposes, that's it, that's it, that's it. But seem that's what's been happening. Seem like that's what's been happening. Give me a man's freedom, then he, he looks at life in a whole different manner. He, uh, he knows the importance of his own mortality and the importance of human life itself. Uh, his values change. Yeah, for real, for real. For example, FBG Cash. You know, he was he was he was one of those gang members. You know, one of those gang members. You feel like he got to, you know what? Um. You know, be be behind the bars too. Be behind the bars in school now. You're gonna be hanging out with a big man, hanging out with a big man. And it's like jail became cool to those individuals. You know, it's crazy, it's crazy. But I'm just talking, I'm just talking though. Would FBG Cash would have been safer if he had remained behind the bars? Because believe it or not, they said being behind the bars sometimes for certain individuals is safer for them. Believe it or not, it really is. I'm not sure if Larry Hoover was, if he were out right now, if he would be able to see that like AG is right now, almost 90 years old. I'm not certain, but maybe, maybe not. But sometimes they say it's safer behind the bars for you. <laughs> do, do, do sometimes you think, um, Cash, I do sometimes you think, uh, Jail save people from death, in your honest opinion? I think everything happened for a reason. I know jail saved me every time. And I don't believe, like, so much as, like, me not getting killed, but, like, even being around somebody that got killed and then me not saying nothing, then, or motherfucking mistaken identity, and then I'd be trying to fight my way out the system, and I got kids and shit, and that shit take a long time. Mm. If not, get cracked, and then ain't no coming back from it and shit, so. I know a lot of niggas locked up for innocent shit right now. And it's niggas that's locked up for cases on some shit they did by themselves. And they was gone when they homies did some shit and I knew they would've been right there. So I know for a fact, jail be saved when they get some shit. Hey, man, that's what's up, man. I'm gonna catch you in the jail studio. Say, jail say bitch niggas too. That's, what, that's why they just get locked up. It seems like a lot of niggas be get locked up on purpose so they won't have to deal with niggas too. So shit, yes, that's what that is. <laughs> They said they said Larry Hoover was still committing crimes while he was still behind the bars. Did he want to get these young men in there with him? Or well, even if he didn't, I'm not certain, but that's where they're going for certain, representing his name brand. It's unbelievable. Don't forget this on for entertainment purposes. That's it, that's it, that's it. I never did any time. This is my first time ever doing time. First time ever sitting in front of a judge and got life. But unfortunately, 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 a lot of these individuals go above and beyond, go above and beyond to do most heinous, heinous, heinous crimes, usually murder. And, you know, they end up behind the bars for life. That's how it is. That's how it is. Has become the consigliere of Chicago street gangs. I think growth and development uh, is not is not necessarily what the gangster disciples are all about. Um, I think that might be a farce. Uh, I, I 
see that the Gangster Disciples, uh, 14 years after growth and development became a catchphrase, um, are as powerful and uh, ruthless as ever. How I heard one time, I heard one time, these individuals might not even respect Larry Hoover if he were to come out right now because it's no longer that organized thing that he created. I wonder why he decided to create something like that. I have no idea. I have no idea. Don't forget that the purposes. Here we go. Here we go. When I come in, I was 17. I'm 80 years old now. Right. Yeah, I survived. So did. I wonder how I survived. I had a tough time. So unfortunately, unfortunately, that's the life for a lot of these young men. You know, they go behind the bars at a young age and they realize eventually they get older and older, all their friends are gone. Why did they commit that crime, that heinous, heinous, you know, murder? Why did they do it? They basically just killed themselves in a sense. Unbelievable. Till next time, guys. F for F service TV. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. That's it. The crime don't pay. Do me a favor. Get a job. Here we go. Here we go.